that the horse stays clear, clearly sorry, on the line. Because if the horse deviates off the line, you're going to find it difficult to know at what point she goes crooked. Okay? So if you're driving down the road and the car's swerving over the middle of the line, it's very hard to know at which point you know you lost control because it's all over the place most of the time. So if you keep saying to yourself, each time round on the circle, she's got to tread in the same footprint. Okay? So you've got a clear line that you're riding. Now, you know when we're in a halt, we've talked about the positioning. So is your positioning still the same now? You put the motion of walk into the equation. So is the left leg still moving forward and down? Is the right leg moving back and in to help you stick left? More. It's a little bit, I think you should come a little bit more back and a little bit more in. That's it, yeah. Support the outside of it. Now I feel that the right hand needs better positioning, so you need to bend the right elbow and to feel like your right hand moves in towards her wither. A little bit of leg there just so she does her drop in so that she keeps walking. Again, right hand's got to move in towards the wither more. The left hand then can open away from the neck more. Let's see, she's got fairly good relaxation, but try and just guide her body so that she positions herself to the left. Ah, good, so she's softened in your left hand then. Now she's gone quickly again, the director. There go again. Right hand moves in towards her with a down and in, not away. Left leg needs to come up. See, she's sat you to the outside again. So you've got to sit over to the left more. Your right leg's got to come back more. Your left leg's got to go forwards and down more. You've got to get your weight more towards the middle of the circle. Yeah. Your right hand's got to turn over and move in. A bit like a joystick. Yeah. And see if, yeah, 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 better. So now your, your positioning's better to left and you've got more chance of being able to get her to look left. Left. Left up. Ah, now you see yourself sliding back to the outside again. That's it. So you've got to keep working. Your right hand's really gappy away from her neck. Yeah, you've got to keep moving the hand to the left. Because she does, she's stiffer to the left. So she doesn't want to... Ah, oh, that's better. You'll know when you get it right because she'll start to soften and come into a nicer balance. So again, right hand moves in, left hand opens away, and you sit to the left. Good. A bit more. This is nice. This is coming the right way now. Just keep working. It's a bit like yoga for horses, really. You've got to keep, you know, working on the positioning. That's it. For you and for her. That's it. So is that you both find this nice point of balance where you feel soft and straight. Again, sit left, you're sitting a little, sliding a little to the outside again, so right leg needs to come back. You want to create the feeling that your left leg feels longer than your right leg. That's it, so you've got to kind of wiggle your right seat bone a bit more towards the middle of the saddle, and your left seat bone a bit more towards the middle of the saddle. is about sort of straightening and aligning the horses. Okay, so you just sort of iron out all the natural things. Okay, so, and then it's just looking at you or I are, so um, we just have to work on that. So that's coming. What we'll do is we'll get her positioned to the right. So you've got to sit right a little bit. Right leg moves forward and down. The left leg moves back and on and in. Ah, good. The left hand moves in and the right hand opens away. That's it. And see if you can get her to look a little bit more towards the middle of a circle again. So positioning through the hand and the elbow. A little bit of right leg there. Ah, you know when she loses her balance, what you did there, because I can see why you did it, when she went Oh, you're falling in, and the sod of the race, and you kind of went, oh, go left. Try and feel, I want you to imagine, there's like a little invisible man here, okay, saying, 
do that way. And so you can push her over. So that's what your right leg's got to do. And it's just going by the gas. You've got to imagine if somebody, if she feel like she comes in away from the trap, rather than trying to steer her, because that makes her look weird, you want to keep the bend. So you can take, and, and you can be aggressive. It doesn't have to be like fair bits in two strides, but you can say, where to respond correctly so to the A. The way to make her respond more correctly to the A is by keeping the A the same each time. So here, let the left hand move, and then feel like you've got that little bit of right leg, and feel like you can push her out towards the fence. Right leg, nudge her. Just sort of gently push her forwards and sideways. That's it, yeah, yeah. Go on, keep going. Forwards and sideways. And see, then she gets a little bit like she ignores the leg. Ah, oh, well done. So she's like, I'm not sure what it means, so I'm just going to do nothing. And that's where you've got to repeat until you feel that she does understand. Have the reins a little shorter. Feel that the hands move more in towards her neck. That's it. Yeah. Better. Okay, especially the outside rein. That's got to move more towards the shoulder. The inside rein has got to move away. Well done. A little bit of right leg. So come on, feel you've got that little invisible man pushing her out towards the fence. Excellent. Legged. <laughs> Hard <laughs> work. Actually, it falls a little bit behind the leg. And doesn't really listen. Yeah. So that's okay. This is something we can work on in training in general. But this is, you know, it, it sometimes until you start to actually pull it apart, you, you don't really realise the bits that they're not quite listening to. That's it. Keep pushing her a little bit away from your right leg. Right leg. So come over. Come over. And I find with this horse, she holds a lot of her stiffness through her rib cage. She sort of gets quite solid in the middle. And you've got to. Work. Yeah, this is better. You've got to work on her becoming a bit softer through the ribs and through the middle. Great. So we're going to. This is better. Keep working on it. You know, it'll, it, I'm not saying that this is all going to be fixed in one hour. You know, this is something you can work on over the following week. We're changing from K to uh, B on the short diagonal. We're going to ride from the marker to the marker. And see by giving her a bit more space. She keeps a bit of a more forward step. She doesn't sort of stop and stick at you. Try and find again in the walk uh, a rhythm. A one, two, one, two, one, two. And that your body has got to mirror that energy. On the left frame, think about positioning to the left. So the left leg moves forwards and down. The right leg moves a little back and the right thigh moves in. The right rein moves in towards the neck to support her and the inside rein open. And then if you feel like she comes in off the track, then just feel it again like you've got a bit of an invisible man by your left leg, kind of pushing her back out away from your left leg so that you get the suppleness through the ribs, not just, you know, Steering her off her head. Good, this is looking better. And again, each time you're going round, as you get a better connection, you look like you sat more into her and more around her, which is good. Feel like you're sort of. Uh, your internal organs are kind of working down and around this foot. Yeah. Yeah. Sit with that good and then soften when she walks towards the path. Yeah.
a little bit more sensitive to your right leg. That's it. Walk forward and step sideways at the same time. Yes. Yes, and just feel like you're asking the heel a little bit out away from your right leg. And it's like, that's it. And say, so ignore the mouth. Just keep working on the step. Yeah. Good. And then, from this walk, step to the top. See your leg. Let's stick. See if you can touch the gently with your stick and see if you'll just go off the leg a bit more. Come. Come on. Come. Good. Well done. Again, feel the left hand moves down and in. The right hand opens away. And work on the sensitivity of your right leg. Good. So you've got to make her a little bit more sensitive to your right heel. That's it. So when you touch her with your right leg, now touch, touch. Better. Well done. That was much better. So she stayed much more out that time. She didn't fall and push in. Try and keep the rhythm in your body. Keep the one and two and three and four. Excellent. Now starting to look much more fluent. So trot past the gate and then you can make your transition walk. That's it. Good. And then softly step to a walk. Well done. Good. Nice job.